Okay. Now, man, I got a lot of information to break down and tie up, but before we do, I, I want to kind of keep moving in the same direction here and, and keep offering the support because I kind of think that, you know, you're, you're going to be able to put it together here. I'm going to show you right now a picture. Okay. This is Nurgle. N-E-R-G-A-L. He is a Sumerian god. And lo and behold, he's the god of the Danites. Okay, now check this out. I want you to notice right there that there's the scorpion. Okay, now remember the locusts. The locusts are representative of the scorpion. Okay, and then I also want you to remember the serpent. Remember that their tails were also timed up as serpents. There's a scorpion, there's the serpent. This is the god of the Danites. Now, what is he? He's a, he's a demigod. That's right. This is one of the fallen sons of God in Genesis 6. He is one of the descendants of the fallen sons of God of Genesis 6, I should say. One of the descendants, one of the children. And this is early back, okay? Now, he's being depicted in a character. Okay, now a lot of this is symbolism and stylization. Okay, just like the ancient Egypt Egyptians did the same thing. But this is the Danite God. Now, this God is being representative out of Iraq, which is ancient Babylon, which is ancient summer, which is Mesopotamia, which is the origin of the Anunnaki. Now, what I'm doing for you. As I'm giving you the time, the tie up with incredible amounts of information right before your eyes. I want you to see that the scorpion, as above, in the light, so too below, in the dark. Now this is what I got written here. Nergo with a leashed watchdog, and then this sculpture today is in the Mosul Museum. All right. Now this leech, leashed watchdog has everything to do with the dog days. And you've been hearing that song on the radio. The dog days are over. And then the horses are getting ready to run. Well, remember what I showed you here, my friends? Remember about the horses here? Are you seeing the horse, the pale horse right there? All right, well, all of this is interrelating. Now, incredible. There is our connection to ancient summer, to Babylon. There's our connection to the Danites, and we're gonna go further with this. There's our connection to the locust with the serpent and the scorpion. Here is our connection to the representation of the queen of heaven, which I'm gonna show you as biblical also, that the Israelites were worshiping the queen of heaven, and I'm not kidding you here. A Lot of information, friends. And we're going to follow this up further, get a good look at that. Okay. Now, next thing I want to do is I want to bring this to your attention. Okay, now we're talking about Samson. Okay. Samson is symbolic of the Danites. And of course, this Samson story is symbolic of what they did. Not one person. Now, I want you to see this, friends. Look at this right here. This is chapter 14, the book of Judges. Samson, the 13th judge. He was considered the 13th judge of Israel. And I want you to understand what that now means. Have you ever heard the expression, the 13th Baktun? Well, if you haven't, now you have. This is a world age cycle, my friends. This is that 70 times 72 generations. There are 12, there are 13 Baktuns. 12 to this point, 13th to here. We're in the 13th Baktun. The Danites are the 13th Baktun. They are the 13th constellation. I'll be back. <laughs> 